All right, guys, so today we made $190 on Apple, where we bought down here at 169.8, around 2.20 p.m., and sold three minutes later for a quick $190 gain. That puts us up on the year $13,212, so we've been on a roll. But let's break it down. We bought a 220. Let's just see where we entered, and then we will just go off of that. So this is around two o'clock, as you can see, 2 p.m. here. Started selling off, massive red. I noticed this, so I had to start looking at that. Once it started selling off, we had this coming down. Now around 2.12, yeah, 2.20 we bought. So we bought right in here. And I, I, you know, I bought because when I zoomed out, I could see on the two day, that the previous support was at this exact area right here. So you'll see if you draw it right here, there was support in this range. So now let's zoom in right there. We'll zoom in one more time. That's where you started seeing it. And here at 220, we bought. So we bought right in this area. And we quickly just made a quick scalp for the retest up to 170. And it's a good thing we got rid of the position fairly quickly because it actually sold off more. It only went up to 170.1. So we sold that right there. And then it bounced here at the bottom at 169. So that was a quick scalp trade. But looking at the overall market, I think we got to be careful because if you look at QQQ, we had a massive red day today. I mean, look at that. 446 all the way down to 435. Just looking at QQQ, that is nasty. Going from 447, just rejection all the way down to 435. So we'll see what happens. It's holding this 430 range. That's the one month. So we'll have to see how QQQ does. But over the long term, it's been very bullish. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Maybe we get some nice pullback here finally so we can get some good entry points in because QQQ has been very bullish all the way from 350 up to 440. But we need to just be careful and make sure that we're making a safe entry in this.